Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who has pledged to annex the Jordan Valley a day after the U.S. announced that it would ease its stance on Israeli settlements in the West Bank. Netanyahu was called on by Chief Challenger Benny Gantz and Avigdor Lieberman to create a government of national unity. The main aim of the unity is to extend the Israeli sovereignty to the Jordan Valley. Now, the Jordan Valley constitutes a third of the occupied West Bank. It runs along the Jordanian border and would become the eastern border of an eventual state of Palestine that's being proposed. Now, Israel has occupied more than 80% of the land in the valley with settlements. About 65,000 Palestinians live in the Jordan Valley. This is not the first time that the Israeli Prime Minister has pledged to annex the Jordan Valley. During his election campaign, Netanyahu had said, that he would initiate Israeli control over West Bank settlements and the entire Jordan Valley region. The annexation would come as the last nail in the coffin of any peace process between Israel and Palestine. The U.S. announcement on Israeli settlements can be seen as one of the main reasons why the Israeli Prime Minister has renewed the call. The U.S. stance can also be seen as a big boost to Netanyahu as it comes at a time when he has been weakened politically at home. Unable to secure a parliamentary majority, Netanyahu is now waiting to see if his chief rival Benny Gantz can put together a coalition. Benny Gantz, keep in mind, has time until midnight to form a government. If he fails, Israel will go to the polls again for the third time this year. We, we recognize that as Israeli courts have the legal conclusions relating to individual citizens. Uh, do you believe that we're getting closer to a one-state solution? We're not addressing or prejudging the ultimate status of the West Bank. Does that this also is apply to East Jerusalem? Is that somewhere else we should look at? And now we have our West Asia Bureau Chief, Daniela Pagani, joining us live from Amman in Jordan. Uh, Daniela, thank you so much for being with us. Talk to us uh, uh, tense times in Israel, but this is a very significant move because the Jordan Valley annexation has been spoken about for a long period of time, but now they look like they're really serious about it. Definitely, yes. And it seems that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu already knows that he has to enter once again the campaign mode. As you correctly pointed out, Benny Gantz has until midnight today to strike the deal with some of the parties in order to form a government, which, even if he succeeds, will be a minority government. If this doesn't happen, and it will unlikely happen, the only option that Israel has is either try to find someone else who's capable in 21 days to succeed, where where neither Gantz nor Netanyahu succeeded, or they are heading towards the third round of election. Hence, the Jordan Valley annexation will surely be one of the main points in Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's campaign. And now he's backing his words. There is a bill now on the table which will need to be assessed. Clearly, this won't happen overnight, but this is a way that the Prime Minister of Israel, currently Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, has to show to his voters that he's actually ready to back this unprecedented action and decision right i also want to understand you know uh, why now and you know the renewed call for the jordan valley uh, because uh, uh, the us move was quite significant uh, of uh, easing you know making it uh, you know Ill, these uh, the settlements not uh, illegal uh, was seen as a crucial move and as a, a support uh, to israel Well, if you think about the fact that the Jordan Valley is home to several of these settlements which the United States defined as not legal, it is always good to remember that what the United States doesn't modify international law, so it doesn't change their status as per the international law. But the fact that the United States is putting its weight behind the legality of these settlements, which are also based in the Jordan Valley, clearly helps very much Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to back his words and to show that he is actually willing to annex the Jordan Valley. This, as you correctly pointed out, is the last nail in the coffin of a possible peace process, if at all there is a possible 
possible peace process still in sight. The timing is not, uh, it didn't come out of the blue, this is something that has been discussed for a year. It has just been timely decided and timely decided that the United States made this announcement together with the bill passed by the Knesset which will uh, forward the possible annexation of the Jordan Valley. And again, this will definitely boost Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's at least on the right wing if he has to go to a third round of election. Daniela Pagani, our West Asia Bureau Chief, uh, joining us with those live updates straight from Amman in Jordan. Thank you, Daniela, for being with us here on We On Dispatch.